In my first YouTube video on flight 370 down, I explained why I believe that the plane must have plunged very, very deep in the ocean. There were a few other terms there that do not appear in this video. The story heading in Hebrew has two meanings, a plane in panic and a plane in a hurry. The people on the plane must have been in a panic. Their relatives, their friends, their community, the whole world was in panic. However, the panic was also about the plane. We do not know if certain maneuvers were done in a hurry to avoid detection. At a later stage, however, they had to beat the clock to find the plane before the signals of the black box would run out of power. There are many mysteries regarding flight 370 on March 8th from Kuala Lumpur to China. However, many facts are obvious. They are very well documented in the Bible codes in the book of Numbers chapters 9 to 15. The plane in question was conceived by Boeing and the flight number is 370. The term can be read in several ways. To root flight 370 became defective flight 370 or they were hit flight 370. Let's look at the term flight 370 in red in the matrix. At the bottom of the matrix, we see another term in green. For Boeing, the USA arranged a marriage for Indonesia. The flight origin is indicated as Kuala Lumpur. The terms Kuala Lumpur are interwoven in the matrix. The flight destination is to China, shown here as it appears in the matrix. However, interwoven within the term to China, we find the term Indian, indicating the Indian Ocean. The next term will be lost includes inside the original destination to China and what the world believes today that the final destination actually is the Indian Ocean. By the two terms sharing a letter, the implication here is that the plane will be lost in the Indian Ocean. The matrix suggests what will happen to the flight. She, the flight, has a disaster deep. If we extend the term to China that we have seen before, we get the message that the flight to China is fear. The shorter version is to China fear. The longer version is to China fear with the flight. For those of us who have been following Flight 370's search for weeks, become aware how huge the ocean is. Huge area, time incredible depth, gives tremendous volume. What are the dates associated with the flight? This is when the plane took off. The next date the matrix brings to our attention is the 9th of March, the following day. The term states, 7th of the Hebrew month of Adar, then there is sadness. It continues an act of the master of the universe, or it is from the master of the universe. In the meantime, there is the war in Beijing. The term states, bitter Beijing, to me, war. The matrix is asking 
what Bejin is asking. Where is the flight? A hiding place? Where is the flight? Let's look at the bitter Bejin term in the matrix and then we look at the terms associated with it. Let us first look at the top term that shares a letter with the bitter Beijing term. The bitter Beijing term shares a letter with the term fraud. The new term states they answered a deception or a fraud, a pure woe. One can only assume that Beijing was not being told the whole truth. The next term also shares a letter with the bitter Beijing term. The new term also indicates deception. It states, what did his friend deceive? If we now add the letter mem in front of this term, we get a longer, more statistically significant term that states, from his friend. What did he hide? Deceive. That the frequency there fell asleep. The frequency coming out of the black box. We also saw the term in the matrix that the plane is in a hiding place. Was there an Iranian connection to the flight disappearance? Whether it was true that Iran was involved or not, in Israel, they were still concerned about Iran. The term states, in Israel, they were worried. True or false, note that first in the matrix, Iran term is introduced with a skip of four, and later in the matrix, the Israel term is at a skip of minus four, a cause and effect on equal terms. In the media, we can find many references to such a speculation. In the media, we can find also many references that the search for the missing plane is the wonder and miracle amazing. As the term states, its search is a wonder. The matrix presents us not only with facts, but also reason for speculation. Did the plane disappear due to an act of terror or sabotage? The matrix is stating the obvious. There is terror. What it doesn't tell us, whether this terror is the passenger's terror facing death, or is it a terror caused by a third party? The second term suggests that the first term is caused by a third party. The, term, the new term states, sabotage that one. Is another nation involved in a sabotage? The first Hebrew word in this term may mean a case, or it can mean an accident. Both versions of this term suggest the involvement of another nation. Or perhaps it wasn't a nation, perhaps it was a person. This is an interesting term that speaks in the first person, perhaps the person in control of the plane. A case of my iniquity, that the nation, it is my fault, perhaps for political reasons. If we follow that logic, the next term continues the confession. A decree of the master of the universe to me, the master of the universe to the sea. In other words, I was commanded to land the plane in the sea, where it will sink, as opposed to on dry land. Was the plane hijacked? The next term also suggests hijacking, with various variations on the same theme. This last hijacked term is very significant, especially because it is so close to the they were hit 
flight 370 term. Let's examine the matrix and see if this tragedy is an act of the master of the universe. An act of the master of the universe may be a random act or an act by design of the master of the universe. We already saw this term indicating that the tragedy was an undefined act of the master of the universe. Three times in this matrix, the term an act of the master of the universe, the undefined term appears. And here is another very significant term suggesting that it was an act of the master of the, of the universe. The term states, from the master of the universe, woe, it fell. By adding one letter in front of the previous term, we get a term which is very, very clear, a high one, the plane from high above, to its woe, it fell. The next term may be interpreted in several different ways. If you look at the second term, we may say that the master of the universe permitted to them, to the passengers, to see everything, and then came the woe. Permitted the master of the universe, they saw all, and woe. The next term may be interpreted in several different ways. If you look at the second term, we may say that the master of the universe permitted to them, to the passengers, to see everything, and then came the woe. Permitted the master of the universe, they saw all, and woe. By moving one letter over to the right, as indicated by the arrow below, we get a better definition of what has happened. The emphasis now is on complete destruction, and the term reads, the master of the universe permitted, they saw or see, complete destruction, woe. And if we drop the first Hebrew word, we get the best meaning yet for this term. Master of the universe. See a complete destruction. Whoa. Does keeping the Sabbath really helps a Jewish person? Let's look at the matrix where we find Kuala Lumpur and where the master of the universe advises the children of Israel not to travel on the Sabbath. Here we see Kuala Lumpur and the children of Israel and will not travel. And by the word of the master of the universe, they will travel. And guard yourself according to the word of the master of the universe as was trans transmitted by Moses. An incident of the congregation and the voyage. It can easily be argued that to the congregation on the plain, the tragedy was only an incident. We may be in the dark if an act of the master of the universe took place by any definition. On the other hand, one may claim that an act of the master of the universe did save at least one life associated with flight 370. Two of the worst air disasters that attracted numerous viewers to the televisions are the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster in flight 370. Both flights, the Columbia return and 370 take off, started on the Sabbath. The article referenced above clearly showed the connection between the flight return on the Sabbath and the commandment not to violate the Sabbath. The moral of the article was that Ilan Ramon, who was a Jewish astronaut, perished even though he was against a planned return on the Sabbath. Much attention was given in the media to a non-observant Jew who did not take flight 370. There are many articles on the subject. One example is the headline below. Perhaps the act of the master of the universe that the matrix is referring to 
is the guidance provided by a travel agent to another Jew to observe the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The Torah codes that I find always end up showing at least one moral issue. I never have enough time though to look at all the details, but I'm always amazed at what they reveal. A great deal was said in the media about the Malaysian government. The terms in this presentation, however, do not give me a hint about a specific government. A common theme in the matrix is the government that is portrayed in a negative light, at least the first five terms below. Let's look at them in the sequence in which they come in the matrix, starting in chapter 10, ending in chapter 13. The government term, as it first appears in the matrix, states that the government lost grip. It's a stage. The next term is telling the, the government enough. A nonsense government. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The echo of the government they distorted or twisted. Bitter. A government. Did it fail? Yes. A great deal was reported in the media that the government knew but did not share what it knew. This term can be looked on in two different ways. One centering on the word bad, the other centers on the word and quickly. The matrix also emphasizes deceit, but does not say who is responsible for the deceit. Let's look at the terms. There is a source of an imposter, deceit. A deceit he shaped, personified, a flu. A sign of fraud or deceit. This explains why the skip and the R value are so important to produce a good matrix. There are many other rules which I follow strictly to produce my matrices.